They, it's the first time the two brothers were named Defensive Player of the Week in the same week. People are saying they're the best brothers in the league ever. The they league could goes. be. Look, the, the, the genetics are there. Yeah. Look at it. They certainly are. And we are excited about Week 9. It's underway, of course. But we're going over to London Town now. It is the Texans. It is the Jaguars. You're taking it here near London. Houston Texans have come across the pond to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. A tough afternoon. The snap to Sean. He fires over the middle. He's got no touchdown. Minshew fires deep. DJ has a shark attack. Close to the end zone. Caught by Bell. Magical. Shotgun here. Gets the snap. Drops the throw. Fires deep downfield. Pins in the end zone. Hits a big tight end for six. Into the magic, man. It's going to be a touchdown. Watch it. To the pylon. He's in. Minshew trying to get a win. The Jaguars, no strangers to playing in London. This is the seventh time they've had a quote-unquote home game across the pond. The first home. time Houston playing over there, DeAndre Hopkins, Deshaun Watson. Let's head on over to London right now live where James Palmer is standing by with Jags cornerback A.J. Boye. A.J., I'm curious. You guys, year after year, Texans making their first trip. You guys know the playing surface, you know everything about Wembley. Is it an advantage, you think, come kickoff? I believe so, just because we've been here, like you said, uh, every year. Um, the grass a little wet, so you have to get used to it. Like a week of practice in here to get the feeling of it. Um, it's a home game for us, but we know that the fans are going to be cheering for everybody, but we just love the environment here. First three games, no picks for you guys. Mm -hmm. You lose Jalen, you guys have seven picks now. It, it, what's going on in the secondary? Is this an addition by subtraction type of situation? What has happened? Uh, I wouldn't say that. It's just really we have trust in each other. Uh, we know what he was capable of. For example, when Jalen left, we knew what Trey Hurden has been doing mm -hmm. the whole time. So just for him to get the two picks, Coach Walsh and Coach Wallen emphasized that we was going to get a lot of turnovers. They was going to start rolling, and luckily they've been doing that and hopefully just keep it going. You're going to be following around a guy that used to be your teammate, DeAndre Hopkins. How different are you as a corner now than when you guys were teammates? And how different of a receiver is he now than back then? And how do you uh, slow him down? It's very different, man. Um, you know, we both grown since we came in together. And, you know, with him, he's the top receiver in the league. Sometimes you got to double him. Sometimes you got to find where he is as a post safety. Uh, it's going to be difficult, but uh, we're definitely up for the challenge, you know, come tomorrow. So we're excited for it. Last one for you. What is it like when you have to maybe cut for an extended period of time, the play and then what Deshaun Watson does after um, It's a harder job for the corners um, because you get their route tree, you expect the one thing with formations, and you get your eyes in the backfield and they turn it up. Mm -hmm. And Deshaun Watson, he's one of the best, him and Mahomes, at just extending plays and always looking downfield instead of running. So um, just like it's good to extend plays, you can also have opportunity where you can throw it up and you have opportunity to make the play. So it works hand in hand. Cool. Well, good luck tomorrow, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. you. Seems already played each other, but I feel like this Jags team as a whole offense team, it's a different story at this point in the season. We're at the midway point and the defense for Jacksonville certainly has turned it around since week six. They're top ten in the league in points and yards allowed. They also have seven takeaways, 13 sacks in the last three. D Hall, the weird thing is the defense is getting better and Jalen Ramsey is no longer there. He's got to face DeAndre Hopkins. It's a tough challenge for the Jags secondary. How do they slow down Nuke the bomb? Whew. And that, to me, is what's going to be interesting. <laughs> okay. you, you tell me. You don't have a guy like 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 uh, Jalen Ramsey who followed uh, Hop around the whole game last yeah. time. Now you got his counterpart, A.J. Bouye. He just mm -hmm. said, hey, we came in together. That's what's going to be the struggle for this game right here is how do they contain Hop and Deshaun Watson because DeAndre Hopkins, he hasn't quite had that explosive game we're so used to him having, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is the week. You know, Jalen Ramsey following him around. A guy like A.J. Bouye who's a really good corner, but he's not Jalen Ramsey, and he knows him. You know, they came in together. They won the same team together. It's all about, I think, Deshaun Watson and how he uses Hop and gets him the ball. He hasn't been throwing him the ball this year. No. It, it, well, they, they're spreading the ball around. I mean, they're, they're balanced not only run pass, but balanced within the passing game as well. And that's why uh, a lot of other coaches say, well, that, that makes him more dangerous if you don't, don't have just one guy yeah. that you've got to eliminate. Um, as for Deshaun Watson, how do you slow him down? Well, kick him in the face. Well, no, you know what? Don't <laughs> that do doesn't that. slow him down. Don't do that because it's illegal, don't. number one. And number two, it doesn't slow him down anyway. He wound up throwing a touchdown here. This 
this is bad. You know, I tweeted out Sunday night when Aaron Rodgers made that throw mm-hmm. for the touchdown to Aaron Jones. I said that throw versus Russell Wilson's throw on Thursday night a couple weeks ago for the throw of the year. And I got Texans fans all up in my mentions saying, what about this? I, okay, I'm sorry. I meant from the degree of difficulty, but this is incredible. Ooh. I mean, oh, oh, I just got kicked in the face. Oh, wait, the play's still going on. <laughs> um, I, I know it was, it sounded uh, ominous the other night when they took him out of throwing out the first pitch because they didn't want him under the lights. Right. Saying, How's he going to go play a, a game on another continent in a couple of days? Uh, supposedly everything's going to be fine. Supposedly he, he will mean, be good. It, the it doesn't look great. about but. him feeling his face to make sure his eye was in its socket it was like Halloween writing that like you can't make up. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. going to go puke. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy what we're seeing Deshaun Watson do. And you heard A.J. Bouye talk about him, his ability to extend plays and get the ball downfield or D-hop and, and all of the guys that they have uh, on that Texans offense. But uh, the, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they have a guy that can do that too, and his name is Nick Foles, right? I, it's, it's, it's crazy to me to hear, Jeezy, that you said earlier that Gardner Minshew could be playing for his job yeah. on, on, on Sunday. To me, I have some issues with that, but I got some tape to show you exactly uh, why this guy is so great um, for this Jacksonville Jaguars offense. You look at right here, Gardner Mitchell. There's a blitz coming off the slot. Here's Jamal Adams, who's one of the best safeties in the National Football League. He does not make the tackle. Gardner keeps his eyes down the football field. And as you can see, the receiver does a scramble drill, goes vertical, and Gardner's right there with him. Gardner takes care of the football, too, on these types of plays. 13 pass touchdowns to only two interceptions since he's been in that quarterback. Now, I'm not saying Nick Foles can't do this, but this is a cheaper option, right? You can just allocate some of those funds to other guys. And this is one of my favorite plays of the year from Gardner Mitchell. Derek Wolf doesn't miss uh, many sacks. Uh, uh, these guys don't miss many sacks with the Denver Broncos, but most quarterbacks, while they may keep their eyes downfield, most quarterbacks run the ball right here for a touchdown. Gardner Mitchell keeps his eyes downfield. To me, that's what makes this offense come alive. That's what makes um, Leonard Fournette, uh, when he yep. gets the ball, he's running a little harder because he knows yep. his quarterback is going to be back there making plays when it's his opportunity to make plays. So I, I think Jacksonville has a great shot to, to, take out, to take out the Houston Texans tomorrow, and it's all going to be because of Gardner Minshew's ability to extend plays and be explosive in the passing game and not turn the ball over while doing it. I don't know if Houston secondary has an answer for what Gardner Minshew's been doing lately. From weeks five to eight, they've allowed more passing touchdowns than any team in the NFL. What makes you like DJ Chark so much? I know we're looking at some highlights. You love this guy. I love DJ Chark. I like D.D. Westbrook. I mean, I like all of the wide receivers that they have out there in Jacksonville. They're big guys, right? Big Big guys that can bend at the knees, right, meaning they can sink low, they can sink their hips, give the quarterback a great indicator of when to throw the football. That, that's when qu- playing quarterback is easy, when you have guys like that that can make the plays. But when you me. pay Nick Foles so much money, quickly tell me what Gardner meant you has to do tomorrow in London at 9.30 a.m. Eastern to keep that job when, after week nine is done. Keep doing what you've been doing, really? big dog. <laughs> Win no football game and everything will take care of itself. You can see that one right here on NFL <laughs> Network. It is an exclusive kickoff. From Wembley Stadium at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And do not forget, NFL game day kickoff begins at 7 a.m. Colleen Wolf, we love you. We Get him, Colleen. Up. We are excited to wake up with you at 7 a.m. Spend your Sunday with us. More GMFB weekend on the way. Real-